guys, I literally had the best time filming my previous Wish wig try on haul that I just wanted to do another one ASAP. So I purchased a bunch more and I'm going to try them on today. Some of them are really cheap, some of them are a little bit more expensive, but nothing too crazy price wise. I just wanted to try slightly more expensive ones to see how they compare to like the super cheap ones. So I've already got my hair up and if you want to see how I did this, I'll link my previous Wish wig try on video down below. It's such a fun video. Make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I'm so excited for this. I hope they look good. We will soon find out. I feel like I should probably be wearing a nude colored wig cap, but this will do for now. Okay, so first off we have this one right here. It's a beautiful color. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, it's called the Women's Glueless Light Coffee Color Lace Front Wig, and it went for $55. Here's how it all looks. And that is the picture right there. So, it looks like a nice long layered wig. Let's give it a go. Okay, first impression, it's quite heavy, which I'm excited about. It means there's lots of hair. And it is so, so long. Oh, it feels so soft too. It is synthetic, but it doesn't feel real plasticky and like coarse. It feels soft, but not too soft. And it has all the clips and bits and pieces on the inside. And it is a proper lace front wig, which... Should I be wearing it? I feel like I need a nude cap. Let me just see if I've got one. Okay, here we go. So I'm just pulling it down into kind of place. And then I'm going to trim some of the lace off. I've never done this before, so who knows if I'm doing this correctly. And I know you would normally um, glue it down and like put a little bit of foundation over it. But we're not going to do that today. I'll do that if I actually decide to wear it one time. I am just going to conceal the hairline just to see how it looks. So I'm using a little bit of Vanilla Concealer by NARS. And I think this is what you do. Just making it a little bit paler than my face. Because your hairline isn't usually, you know, super tan compared to your face. And then for fun, I'm just going to use a little bit of my NARS Concealer in Custard, which kind of matches my face. I think this will look so good when I actually trim it properly because I did a bit of a shocking job. So let's just imagine it's trimmed better. I think this is so pretty. I feel like the hairline's a little bit strange how it like kind of it comes out funny but you could probably restyle it. I mean I'm such a beginner with wigs but like I think that is so cool. I actually think this is so worth the money. It doesn't look super tacky, like the actual like fibers, you know, it doesn't look super synthetic. Yeah, this is the only part that looks a bit weird to me. It's a little bit flat here, so I feel like I'd have to like style it up a little and like, I don't know, like just this area. The color itself, I'm so obsessed with. I'd be happy if my hair was this color permanently. Like I love it, love, love it. It's so pretty. But yeah, I need to like try it again with some actual like glue to glue it down in place. But I'm not doing that today because I am trying on like a few wigs. I think this is cool. What do you guys think? Does it look like the picture? I definitely think it does. I feel like it's a little bit more wavy than in the picture. And probably a little bit more purpley pinky than the picture. In the picture it's a little bit more like muted and like less colourful. But it's not like super bright or anything. But it is definitely like a kind of mauve colour. Whereas in the picture it looks more like brownish toned. Overall I really like it. Um, I just need to work on this like style situation. If you have any tips for me, let me know. Next up I think is this one right here. This one is called the Short Heat Resistant Hair Brown Ombre Blonde Hand Tied wig synthetic 43 us dollars and this is the picture i chose the one with dark roots um so let's see how this goes i'm excited because if it actually looks like this i want to wear this a lot people always tell me to cut my hair off because they suit it like you know this length and i do agree but my hair is like so fine like i've got a lot of hair but it's so fine that i would have to style it like every day to actually make it look good if i cut it that length whereas if it's long i can just like let it air dry and it can just do its own thing and it looks good so that's why i prefer long hair on myself 100 percent so this is another lace front wig it looks like really good quality it's got all the clips and the gadgets on the inside i'm gonna trim this one off my head this time See if I can do a better job. Just remember this is just first impressions. Like I think we can get a pretty good idea of how they're going to look. They're not going to look perfect because I'm not spending much time like, you know, doing it properly. 
All right, let's pop this sucker on. See, this one looks really flat in here too, but surely there's a way to fix that. I think it must just be because it's packaged, like, you know, squashed. That looks kind of green though, don't you think? And there's like a piece of metal sticking out of there. <laughs> what is that? That's a bit dangerous. That could have gone straight into my freaking skull. Oh my god. Oh, it's like it's the needle they use to make it. Look at this. Literally like a freaking needle. And there's a few funny threads in there, but I mean it's not the end of the world. You could definitely just trim them, you know. It is a cheap wig on the scale of wigs after all. This one feels so so voluminous like it feels really good i'm like loving the way it looks except for that root color like it looks green <laughs> like i thought it would be brown so does it look like the picture yes except for the roots like in the picture the roots look a lot more like warm brown rather than green so that's a bit of a bummer it feels really comfortable it feels so thick and it's a similar kind of quality to the last one like it doesn't feel fake and it's cropped at the back which i really like I'm gonna see if I can like zhuzh it up with this teasing brush. I feel like I could pull out some of my own little baby hairs with this when I wore it because my hair is blonde too and it would help it make help help make it look a little bit more you know authentic. Just concealing the hairline again. This one I pretty much feel the same as the last one about the quality. Um, the needle was a bit weird but hopefully that's not like a common occurrence. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing that's bothering me is just that root colour. I like love everything else about it. Oh man, I'm so gutted. Is there any way I can change this colour? Because it's synthetic, so I can't really dye it, can I? If anyone has any advice, let me know. Because it's a little bit funny. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be like a centre part or an off-centre part, but I'm kind of wearing it just off-centre. Once again, once it was well, it stuck down properly, I feel like it would look pretty real. I love the volume in it. Like, there's just so much hair. It feels so nice. I wish I had this much hair in real life. <laughs> so overall, I do like it. It's just the root color that's not ideal. But I mean, $43, it's not too bad. And I think it looks moderately real. It doesn't look crazy wiggy, especially if I got better at like applying it and gluing it on and styling this little bit right up here, which is a bit flat. Please, please give me advice, people, because I just don't know how to like fix this. Alright, next one is a beautiful auburn ginger kind of colour. It's almost spot on to my natural hair colour. Well, when I was a kid, God knows what my natural hair colour looks like these days. I have not let my hair grow out that much. Okay, so this one, I'm assuming, is this one here, which is called the New Sexy Women's Girls Fashion Styly, Wavy, Curly, Long Hair Full Wig. I'm assuming it's synthetic, it feels kind of synthetic. And this one was really affordable, only 13 US dollars. Here's a close up of the picture so you can see what we should look like. I feel like I'm not gonna suit this hair, like that um, fringe, sorry, not hair. I don't really suit side fringes. <laughs> so this one isn't lace front or anything, it's just like a basic wig and it has all of this stuff underneath. It doesn't have any combs, but it has the clips. Oh my god, I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> it does not look like that in the picture. I love the colour though. Okay, hold on. I bet if I let my hair grow out though, it would not look the same as it did when I was a little kid. Never does. Oh, there's a random clip hanging out here. I don't have enough like forehead space to pull this off. And it just overall looks strange. My phone won't unlock because it doesn't recognise me. Oh. I'm just gonna like do something like this to get it out of my face. But yeah, I do not suit this kind of fringe. I look like I should be in the 70s. Be good for a 70s party. And the layers, they look similar to the picture, but not quite like in the picture. They're definitely more like choppy layers, whereas these are like, they kind of go all the way and it's just curly at the bottom. It just doesn't really sit properly. I love the color though. I think the color is so pretty. I don't know if I'd ever dye my hair this color, but I mean, I'd be tempted. It's a stunning color. Like it's just so like warm and beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. But yeah, the actual wig itself, like I'm not a huge fan of this one. Like it's just kind of strange. So probably would not repurchase. Next up we have a heat resistant synthetic lace front wig with baby hair. Platinum blonde 24 inch ombre wig which is just like a dark root. So this one goes for 35 US dollars and then here's what the picture looks like. So hopefully it actually looks like this. 
I'm already a bit sketchy. It looks like the roots on mine are a lot longer and the curls are completely different on mine. They're way more like tight. Whereas on this one, they're kind of like a wave. So this one has little combs, clips. It's got a really wide lace front so you can like style it. And yeah, it's got loads and loads of baby hairs, which looks exciting. So I'm just going to trim this. So far, we look like a witch. So let's attempt to kind of tie this up. Once again, of course, the lace will be hidden normally because you would glue it down and stuff. Uh, what the heck? How are you meant to... I feel like you'd have to really trim that because it's dark. And we're going to pop in some concealer, which I accidentally got all over the hair, but that's alright. This genuinely just does not look like the picture. And I just don't think it's flattering. It looks like I'm wearing a helmet or something, like where they've ombre it. It just doesn't look good. It does not look real. Um, it just looks awkward. Like, I'm sorry, if it looked like this, I would be pretty happy. But it does not look like that whatsoever. Expectation versus reality got me again. <laughs> it's just really, really awkward. The actual quality feels good. Sorry, I'm looking over here. I'm seeing how it looks because I can barely see myself over there. But um, yeah, it feels nice, like the quality is good, it's just not like the picture and not what I was expecting and yeah, it looks like I'm wearing a wig 125% and it's messy. So in my previous wig video, I tried on a short black wig that I loved, I just didn't think it was like amazing quality, so I went back onto Wish and found another black cropped wavy wig that... You know, it was a bit more expensive just to see how it compared. This hairline straight away looks quite good. If you can see, like, the actual part looks decent there. And I'd probably normally wear, like, a different wig cap with this one. Like, one that I can, like, oh, I guess I can just conceal it anyway. So this one was 49 US dollars, and this is how it looks. I think there was a couple different options, though. Um, and I chose, like, the wavier one. So again, it's got the real like long lace front and then a comb and clips and all of that. Feels like a really decent quality. It feels quite heavy considering how short it is. Like it feels weighty and it feels, it actually feels like real hair. Like it doesn't feel fake whatsoever. It's the Lace Front Wig Loose Body Wave Curly Natural Synthetic Hair Long Bob. Just a mouthful there for you. Alrighty, let's do this. The hair kind of sits funny again off like the front. Like it kind of goes woo. <laughs> But if I figure out how to style them, we can easily fix that. Oh, I love the length. It just like brushes the top of my shoulders and it's so thick and I love the hairstyle. Obviously, we would normally stick it down once again. Okay, honestly, I love this so much. It's just this part here. Like if I could figure out how to make it look less wiggy right here. I actually love it. I look kind of like a witch again, but I mean, I love the hairstyle. Yeah, it just kind of goes like, woo, like this. Do you? I don't know what that noise is, but yeah, can I like make it kind of a side part a little bit more? I feel like I suit that better. It's definitely cool. I really like the quality. The quality is amazing. It's, yeah, just this little part right here that's bothering me. And even though it's lace front, like it still just kind of has like a real harsh line around my, you know, face. Like, man, I wish it just had a bit more going on around the front. So let's see, does it look like the picture? In the picture, it's got full on baby hairs. If it had them, I'd be fine, but I don't see where those are. I'll see if I can like just cut it. Any recommendations? Obviously I'd need to do my eyebrows darker, but they're just healing at the moment from my brow tattoos, so I can't put product in them, but it looks so thick. It's, yeah, what's going on? Like, I just don't, I don't get it. And I'd like to be able to put it up in a little bun at the top, but like, you just couldn't with this hairline. Like, it's just so blatant. I love it and I hate it at the same time. I just don't know. I feel like the picture let me down a little bit with the baby hair situation. If you guys have any recommendations on what I can do to this to make it work, please comment below. And if there's any videos I should watch, just tell me. Because I want to make this work so bad. Like, I think it's so cool. Honestly, like, I wish I could cut my hair like this. But I'd have to literally, like, curl it every single day. And I just don't have time for that. Plus, I know I'll regret it. Every time I cut my hair off, I regret it. I've done it a few times in my life and it's never worked out. So yeah, this one, I'm like iffy about, I don't know. I feel like the first one was definitely my favorite and also the cropped blonde one was pretty cool. This one I really like as well. I love, love, love the fullness and the texture and the quality. It's just strange. Let's do one or two more. This one here 
is 39 US dollars and it looks really pretty. It says it is a 180% density Swiss natural hair, high temperature fiber, silky long straight brown synthetic lace front wig for women. And it's a similar color to the other one with the funny fringe so I'm kind of excited. Let's hope this one's a bit better. It is a lace front. Oh I should show you how it's supposed to look too. It looks really pretty. It's literally just like a straight long wig. Super super long. Once again I'm obsessed with the color. Seriously, if I ever go brunette again, I need to try like this type of brown, I think. I think it's really pretty. I'm thinking about like trying a more natural blonde hair color. What do you guys think? Or do you like my blonde? Like I love like the pinky blonde, but I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if I should look a bit more natural. I don't know. Am I getting too old for this? I don't know. I mean, I'm 26 soon, guys. Like how am I that old? I don't know. I feel like I'm still 19. This one's hairline looks okay like the actual part hairline the front hairline looks similar to the last one where there's like no variation so it's probably gonna look super wiggy but hopefully not because i love this color and i really just want it to work so the inside has a little bit of a lace and then the cap and the clips and all of the you know bits and pieces this one's already looking better than the last copper one i wish my hair was actually this long like this is how long i want my hair i'll show you in a second this one is probably sitting the nicest against my head out of all of the wigs. Like it's not sitting funny in here really. Like it's a little bit flat but nothing crazy like some of those other ones. Okay so I've concealed the hairline a little bit. This one feels really good quality. It feels a little bit more soft than the others but not necessarily in a good way. More like a plasticky way but it still doesn't look I don't think super synthetic. Like it still looks kind of real. It's not as shiny you know what I mean? Is it really a Shanexo video if the rain doesn't start like pounding down outside every time I film? I need one like this that's blonde so I can wear it when I want long 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 hair because this is how I want my hair to look all the time. I'm obsessed with this colour so much. Okay this one's probably my favourite of all of them. I'm definitely keeping this. So it's super super long you can see it kind of hits me right at my waist and I think the colour is incredible it's a little bit wiggy at the top but it's not as bad as the others in my opinion like if you guys can teach me how to kind of give myself a little bit of volume up here maybe dry shampoo or something um i feel like it would just look so so good i'm in love with this i think this looks pretty realistic like i mean i think i could get away with it once i actually had it all glued down properly and everything and the actual like hairs at the front are a little bit more like baby hairs let me just show you up close a little more see how these like little stragglers like it's actually pretty legit i love it oh my god i wish this was my real hair it's so long and just luxe so yeah this is my favorite i think i'll have to go into this like wish account and like see if I can find some more from the seller because that is by far the best. I definitely have to say the color is a little bit warmer than it looks in the picture and the picture it looks straight up just like brown whereas on me it's more of like an auburn brown. Like once again this is kind of like what my hair looked like as a child <laughs> like red brown and that's why my eyebrows and everything always throw so warm but anyway <laughs> I love 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 this color so much so I think we'll end it there on a happy note. I really enjoy this wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. I still have more wigs I could try on if you do want a part three, but maybe that's a bit overkill. You tell me, I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise I can just try them on in some like random videos, tutorials, Halloween or something. I've got some like gray ones and ombre ones and some colorful ones and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you think and let me know which wig was your favorite as well um and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye